Nah, not bumming. How you bumming, nigga? Bumming. How you bumming, gang? Somebody else had hooked me up with his studio. Y'all both from the back? Oh, what? Yeah, so then um, I end up bringing my nephew that next day, and I end up spending so much time at the studio. We just in the connect and we used to start drinking, smoking. Then one night I got sick, and this nigga hella took care of me. Then it was just like, oh, you already started. Yeah, I've been recording, but, uh, yeah. you know. He, he, he be catching it, though. Yeah, I be chopping. Yeah, hey, I got you. Just give me a little second. I got you, though, for sure. Oh, all right. Yeah, all right. I look tight. Yeah, um, so to tell, man, uh, I'm from uh, Sacramento, California, man. South Sac, Iraq, to be exact. I do hip-hop music, like, you feel me? And I can do some r and I mix it up. Like, I, I, you know, I know how to sing and stuff. I've probably been doing music since I was, like, uh, about 11, 12 years old. Like, just started to make songs, writing songs. And then I think it was, like, a dude that stayed across the street from my school. And he, he had a little studio, so I used to come through and just make songs with my, uh, with my cousin, uh, Lil Trudy, and we, we just, we just started from there. So probably like 12, 11 years old or something like that. Necessarily like my life, you feel me? Like that's what made me start doing music. Cause stuff that I was doing or stuff that I was going through, I think, I think my brother went to jail when I was like, around like 12 years old or something like that. And I remember that's probably like really one of my first real songs I can remember I did it to uh, Closer to My Dreams. Beat, yeah, instrumental. And I had and I had rapped about my brother and stuff. He had, he is uh, fighting a little murder trial and stuff like that. So okay. yeah, he kinda he kinda made me like write about him, make a little song and stuff like that. Uh, I'm an indie, but I am a part of Not Mafia Records. So it's like it's like we sign, like we are, we come from nothing though, so we starting off. So it would be like I would be signed, but ain't no paperwork involved. Uh, starting me, Soda Tev, and then you got the CEO, Big Truda, you got Lil Truda, and then you got uh, King Tut, um, you got Ten Letter Gang Duda, and um. And um and um MIP uh slow cut uh, um I'm tripping. MIP uh cuz light year, you feel me? He passed away, but yeah, he a part of Nine Mafia too. Facts, RIP. Mm-hmm. That's that's all the artists of Nine Mafia. Oh I'm tripping, I'm tripping, no no no, hold up. Tastic. You got Tastic, yeah, you got mm -hmm. Tastic. Oh mama. Yeah, yeah. That's a big, big girl, big label. You gotta keep nah, that in here, so nah. just let no down. Let down no. I almost forgot about it. Oh, hell yeah. Do gotta know. For what? How do these niggas watch their damn mouth? Something about myself that people probably don't know. I don't know, like. I don't know, like, um, the music, everything I rap about is true. You get what I'm saying? And stuff that I really have going on. I really, if I'm like a real, um, to say, fit, like not, what is non-fiction? Yeah, I'm like a non-fiction rapper. Like, every, anything that I ever rap, rapped about, I did. And like, you know what I'm saying? So, it's nothing that I'm going to put on the track that I don't have. As an artist, I want to just, um, I want to express myself more, come out with some more projects. I got one song called Painkillers. But other than that, I just want to, um, you know, make more projects and express myself more so people can get to know me. I got to take it more serious, too. It's like I still got to live and handle my business. Mm -hmm. So, you know how they say, like, you won't, you won't, you won't take, go serious in rapping or get, if you don't leave the streets alone. So, I'm on the verge of that. Like, why is this? Like, I got to get myself together, get my mind together to switch over and take it seriously. You know, I, I mean, a lot of people tell me I got talent. I just got to leave. I'm recording process. 
I write songs. I write. I don't freestyle. So I probably write a song, and then I kind of weird too. Like I do acapella first, mm -hmm. and then I look for the beat. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I do that a lot of times. Like I do acapella, like even singing anything, and then I try to find. Uh, like a, a, a producer or something like that, or somebody who do beats, who know how to make a beat to my melody. You know what I'm saying? So, so yeah, I'll be doing that a lot. And then when I go to the studio, I just, I don't know, you know, I smoke, get loaded real quick or whatever, feel, get in the beat and have a good energy, and then I jump in and, and just do my thing. Uh, Nah, not at all. It doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't affect my relationship. I, I I feel like I got a girl who who's understanding. You know what I'm saying? She 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 takes me how I come. So whatever you feel, whatever I got going on, she she supportive of it. So yeah, I got that's and I'm winning with that. Just a jealous one. Eyes are on the road, it's on the mirror, and just in case it's one. Gamble with your I ain't gonna lie to you, man. <laughs> <laughs> don't say nothing to criminate. Like it's a whole lot of money going on. Yeah, on the yeah it ain't this. It's hard to tell, man. I don't know. I just, I'm just hustling, and um, you know, every day is a is a, is a day for I feel like is a, is opportunity. So you know, I get up and try to make something out of myself every day. And other than that, I just, you know. Mess with my family, because that's what keeps me out of the way. Go pull up on a friend or family or something like that. And just, you know, I'll be cooling. My day mostly revolve around hustling or something. Like that. Hella weird. I know my sister's scared, but I told him I'm a Yeah, my favorite music video probably is new music video that's coming out uh, with International Pay. It's a uh, new bag, you feel me? Because, oh no, I was just clean, you feel me? And I had a good time. Like, I was real, I had... I had all D and G on. I was, I did it in front of, on the strip, in front of the Dolce Gabbana. You know. feel me? Yeah, I was with my, I was with my big cousin. We was, you know, we had, we was having. This your first interview? Yeah, for sure. All right, that's gonna be. Oh, this your first interview. Right. Okay. How yeah. you feeling? Your first interview. Uh, I'm feeling good. You feel me? I, I got, I got my, uh, my, my, my man's Taji, man. He, uh, Facts. he came through and did it real quick. He told me Facts. to come through. So we can do it. So I, I feel good. You know, you always buy a bill too. So right. you already know, like, and for the first person, like how I said, with you with the engineer, you make it comfortable. So it's nothing like, you know, I was like, I'm with my people. So it's like, we we straight, you know what I'm saying? I can really let you know what's really going on. You know what I'm saying? How I really feel about stuff. Stuff that, you know, especially all people who don't ask you. So I'm just my chat feeling like I'm finna fade out. My time is all time. Gotta play, I bet it play out. Overseas, better side of living. Jordan. Jordan. Yeah. Shelly Jordan. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Missy ain't got the J's on. I told y'all I'm gonna keep it real. I told y'all I'm gonna keep it real. Forces. Forces. Okay. Real street. Alright. Throw him in with too much pride. Keep it real. Put that shit aside. Gucci. Mary, yeah, Gucci, okay. Clean up with a suit and tie. Like a water, all I know is right. I'm still, I'm double G's all the way to the end. Yeah, okay. Double G's and sell you over everything. All right, all right. Like 69. When a judge asks, I'm a. Oh, why you doing his little weight? That's that's where I come from, right? I really don't know too much about him. I know he's a real legend. You feel me, Jimmy Hendrix? Lil Wayne, you feel me? He's more of my era and my type of, you know what I'm saying? Niggas know what time it is. We know when it's Drake. Drake. Yeah, Drake, yeah. That's my Drake. Okay. Drake, that's my every day. Yeah, yeah. That's my every day. Go to. Yeah, I'm going to listen to Drake when I get in the car. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, it's Drake. Drake, okay. I never come out here. I've been having my hair since I was like 17 years old. Ever in life. 17, 16, what you think? Right, yeah. yeah, 16, like, so, man, that's, I never, I don't want to play my head. Cause I, I have funny ears, though, you feel me? So, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, that's the shit, yeah. Hey, that's the, that's the, I don't, y'all know that's about me. <laughs> I got some funny ears, okay. I told y'all keep it real. No, not from me. I'm from the game. How you from the game?